people that might for some reason possibly they lead very empty lives and they're watching me instead of the match so at least they're going yeah fuck boy he's really upset it makes it phony if you don't do that but then now in a match invariably <laughs> for every spot and bing 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 and big bump and all that stuff there's also the part where there comes the chin lock or there comes the headlock or whatever there's my time to fucking scream at the referee or to attract some attention to me so that also, while we're in the headlock and somebody's going, okay, one tackle, drop down, hip toss, move on the elbow, get it again, whatever. People are not watching them do that. They're watching me yell at the referee. They're watching me yell at the people in the front row. Don't be saying that shit you're saying. Whatever. As soon as they're in motion again, then I should be back watching intently because the match is the thing. And once again, you know, a manager can be chased around the ring. I've had my shoes pulled off, I've had my pants pulled off, I've had my dag, I've had all my clothes pulled off, and I was just the ring of honor officers. I've had all kinds of shit done to me. I've been, have been hit over the head with things, faces and cake. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff because that way you don't have to do it to the rest of us. The Midnight Express were not uh, stripped or embarrassed or humiliated, Jim Cornet. I always feel like the manager should not only be the, the funny one in terms of saying, and I was the funny guy in wrestling, right? I was the one who told all the jokes. Then when all wrestling got funny, I was the only one who got serious. I had to, because before I was the only one doing funny, when everybody didn't did start doing funny, okay, motherfuckers, I'll do serious. But the manager can be the funny one without taking heat off his guys. They're not getting dressed in a dress, I am. They're not getting their head shaved, I am. They're not getting hard feathered, I am. So they keep their heat, and they try to save me, and they come back and try to get even, and I'm screaming, God damn, I'm your boss, I'll pay you, I'll give you any amount of money, kill those motherfuckers did that. So you can, you can do stuff with the manager without taking heat off the wrestlers. And in matches, once again, at ringside, to close up on the question, if I'm going to interfere in the, in, the, in the match, I need to get in and get out. I need to do it behind the referee's back. I never take my off the referee. Because if the referee sees me, I expect him in an OBW, I tell you this. If the referee sees an automatic disqualification, whether it be an over the top rope or a power driver or somebody interfering, he don't call it, I'm going to hit the ring beat his ass. Because the referee is, is the authority. If the people don't believe the referee, people think it's all just bullshit. That's why I couldn't stand that ECW-ish type of thing, and I hate all this modern wrestling. <laughs> where people just come into the involved in the match, run in and do shit, the referee's standing there, and here comes a chair. Why is a chair in the ring? Is it a no DQ match? <laughs>